Hello, welcome to New England Industrial Machinery. Today we're doing a video demonstration of a 1980 LeBlanc servo shift, 15 inch by 30 inch tool room lathe. Has a 12 inch three jaw chuck. Servo shift shifter for the speeds. Inch metric threading. Uh, micrometer uh, carriage stop. A Loris type tool holder. Probably is a Loris. A couple of holders for it. Steady rest. Taper attachment. Uh, I have another chuck for it, four jaw chuck, and the faceplate. Whatever is on the spec sheet uh, comes with the machine. And I'll uh, be happy to uh, uh, talk to you about that when you're ready. It's a five horsepower motor, 440 volt. And uh, we'll go ahead and start it up and show you how it operates. So that's 45 RPM, that's the slowest. So you put it into what, neutral and, uh, and then shift? Stop and shift. Oh, stop, that's, sorry. That's it's the stop. Break on. Yep, can't miss it, it's red. <laughs> Hydraulic shift, that's why the spindle shifts back and forth. It's uh, looking for the gears, and you've got to give it a moment to uh, find it, find the gears. Nine thirty-seven on that one. I'm not going to go any higher. Okay. It's a suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody goes higher. Yeah, it's, we can, but it's, I think it's quite good. Sure. And uh, can we show like uh, some of the carriage uh, movements and stuff. Got the most common kind of speed through the two on. Sure. So uh, this lever in the up position moves the carriage. Longitudinal. The other lever down below, move it back, it's reverse. I uh, pulled the lever out and it did the cross slide. Bring the lever up and it goes in reverse the other one. And it's also got the threading dial. And a live spindle on the uh, center. Speaks. This sounds really nice. Well, uh, that feels really good, the cross slide. Virtually no, uh, no play. Uh, same thing. This feels really tight, longitudinal feed. Try to give you an idea what the uh, ways look like. Forward and reverse on the spindle with that uh, little button. Nice. Uh, it's got the uh, 
coolant pan. Sorry about that. Uh, hit the button on the side of the phone. And uh, so it's got the chip pan and a little drainage hole for the screen. Uh, but uh, if you need coolant, I'll have to come up with some kind of little coolant tank and unplug. It shouldn't be a big deal at all, or uh, you can find one readily. And uh, that's the machine. Hopefully uh, you like it as well as I do. I think it's a great little machine. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Okay, thank you.